Hey, what is up, everybody? Retired Navy SEAL Chris Sinog here. And if you've been wondering, hey, bro, where have you been? Well, that's what I was just about to talk about. And I could ask you the same thing. Dude, I don't even know. Like, all I see is old people in golf carts and gas is like less than $3 a gallon. Um, I think Trump might be back in office. Yeah, Trump's not back yet we're just in florida ah cool freedom <laughs> yes freedom is cool but how about you just sit there quietly so i can tell my story all right so a few years ago i started noticing that i just felt like i had no motivation i wasn't getting anything done i couldn't remember anything and it just kept getting worse and worse I thought maybe I had something like ADD, like him. So I basically, I took a bunch of different medications that pretty much just made me grind my teeth. So I started seeing a therapist and I found out I had PTSD. Bro, are you seriously telling people you need a therapist? I thought Navy SEALs were like lone wolves and stuff. Like you didn't need any help. Well, there's a reason they call us the SEAL teams because it's teamwork that makes us so good at what we do. And it actually takes a really strong man to ask for help. Bro, see that? You in lift? Huh? Yeah, actually not much recently, but up until about eight months ago, I used to play competitive volleyball. Uh, I used to work out and lift weights every day. Uh, but then I damaged my left phrenic nerve actually playing volleyball. Hey doc, what's a, uh, a redneck nerve? phrenic nerve. It's the nerve that tells your diaphragm to move. So my left lung has not worked for about eight months now. Oh, why didn't you just go see a real doctor? Well, actually I did see a bunch of real doctors and I saw specialists and super specialists, which I didn't even know existed. And they ran all kinds of tests. And in the end, all these doctors who could replace my heart if I needed a new one, in the end, just ended up telling me, oh, wow, man, that sucks. Hopefully it starts working. Yes, that's what they said, and it does suck. So I didn't want to just sit around and just have one lung. So I started researching ways that I can speed healing of my phrenic nerve. And I found there's really, a, there's quite a few ways to do it. Uh, with supplements like ALA or even healthy fats like MCT oil or olive oil. I also learned that some of the supplements I already use are filled with superfoods that help my brain and lung. And I've talked about Earth Echo Foods for years and their cacao and golden superfood bliss. And now they have a line of little bites like the Vitality Bites that have all the same superfoods as their, their blisses, but it comes in a delicious little bite-sized snack. Cacao Bliss has turmeric that fights inflammation and MCT oil that's a proven brain food. And Golden Superfood Bliss, this has ashwagandha, five other superfoods, and a blend of medicinal mushrooms that have been proven to improve brain performance. And now they have a line of these little bites like the Vitality Bites that have prebiotics and probiotics that feed what our scientists call our second brain. Just go to earthechofoods.com forward slash Chris and use discount code Chris to get 15% off your entire order. All right, so I was definitely not excited about just sitting around and hoping that my lung would magically start working again and then I remembered, I know this guy who is one of those guys who knows everybody in the world. And so I called him up and asked him, I'm like, hey, do you know anybody who knows anything about healing nerves? And he's like, oh yeah, I actually just was at this facility in Florida and they're doing just that, they're healing nerves and they're doing a study on Navy SEALs. So he puts me in touch with Aviv Clinics here in Florida, and they have a special protocol for hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And when I talked to the doctor, he was like, yeah, this will definitely heal your phrenic nerve, 
But this uh, study that we're conducting right now is for PTSD. And I said, well, luckily, Doc, <laughs> I have that too. So a couple months ago, I came down here to Florida and they ran a bunch of tests to make sure I was a good candidate. And one of them is called a SPECT scan for your brain. Now, if you've ever seen those images of a brain that are just multicolored images, they're a lot of times in 3D, they look, look super cool. Uh, but what that's actually showing you is activity in the brain. Bro, I know you got a brain injury or whatever, but uh, let's get back to uh, God's hand. Oh yeah, thanks for once. So the charity, the amazing charity, America's Mighty Warriors is paying for this study and it costs between 50 and $60,000 to go through this study. And that's not even including uh, having a place to stay and all that stuff, which they also uh, provided. But the day I called, the day before I called to see about this study, they had already chosen the four seals that were gonna be in the study. But the day I called, um, like right before I called, one of the other seals dropped out for, for some reason. So if I would have called a day earlier or a day later, I probably would not have been in this study. But God actually started his work much earlier when he damaged my phrenic nerve. You're telling me the big guy damaged your lung on purpose? Well, uh, I guess I shouldn't, shouldn't call him the big guy. Somebody else that we, we call that, but man, he sure does work in mystical ways. Yes, he does, and he did. Um, and I didn't find out what that reason was until two weeks later when the doctor called with my results. So he calls me and goes over the results and he's like, you know, Chris, this is definitely gonna heal your phrenic nerve. Uh, it's definitely gonna help with the PTSD, but your real problem, the reason you really need to come here is you have a massive traumatic brain injury to basically 70% of my brain. Both sides of my frontal, temporal, and parietal lobes are all damaged. So if my lung uh, never stopped working, I would have never gotten a spec scan of my brain and I would have never known that I have this massive TBI. Of course, I was pretty shocked to hear this, um, just hearing it for this, the first time, hearing you have uh, a severely damaged brain, uh, no jokes, especially from you. Um, but I had been around like every Navy SEAL, a, a lot of explosions, I was a breacher, I was a sniper, uh, and I shot a lot of shoulder fire weapons like the Carl Gustav. But I didn't do any more than every other Navy SEAL who has served our great nation. So if I have a TBI, I guarantee every Navy SEAL has a TBI. Everyone in special operations does, who's done it for at least a few years. So I think it would be a great idea if the Navy and before people went to BUDS and SEAL training that they do a spec scan of their brain to see what it looks like. And when they retire or they get out, do another spec scan, and then Uncle Sam can pick up the tab on having this treatment done. And in a way I was kind of relieved actually to find out that I had a brain injury because all this time I'm thinking I'm just lazy, I'm unmotivated, but I found out there was a reason for it and God provided me with a way to fix it. And America's Mighty Warriors. Yes, Mama Lee does have an amazing charity and they're really leading the way on taking care of our teammates. And it would be great if everybody could go to americasmightywarriors.org and give anything they can. All right, so I got the green light to come get treatment down here in Florida at Aviv. They told me it was gonna take about four months, so I loaded up the man van and my amazing girlfriend, Melissa, came with me to make it one of the, the most amazing road trips I've ever done in my life. Bro, are you gonna tell them how she would keep you awake on the road? No, no, what happens on the road stays on the road. <laughs> but it happened on the road. Yes, she talked to me, we sang, she wrapped up my sandwiches so I could drive while I was eating and you know, she 
did a great job keeping me awake. Can I finish? No sé. Puede. Okay, so I started my treatments on October 17th, and basically you get in the chamber for two hours every day, breathing uh, oxygen under pressure uh, five days a week. And you, so you're doing 60 treatments. And the good part about this is it's not the same type of chamber that I used when I used to be a dive med tech 30 plus years ago. Uh, it's like being in a, a first ca class cabin on an airline. So I've done just over 40 of the 60 treatments so far. And I would like to tell you that I'm feeling much better. But in fact, the treatments make you feel pretty bad, um, pretty lethargic, uh, a lot of brain fog. I walked into the closet the other day because I had to go to the bathroom and it took a solid 10 seconds for me to look around and realize that um, I don't think this is the right place for this. And the reason for that is your body, basically every cell in your body is getting a workout for two hours. My body is starting to produce stem cells that are gonna go and heal not just my phrenic nerve, but all the other damage that's uh, been done to my body over the years. And the oxygen is getting pushed into parts of my brain that have not been used for years. They say I'll start feeling better soon, so soon you should start seeing more of me. Bro, what about, what about me? You, you like my new ink? about me? Dude, there is no amount of oxygen that can fix that. Don't worry, he will be okay, but that is it for today's video. I want to truly thank you for all your support over the years, and I hope you will stick around for more. Please like and share this video, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so, and remember to hit that little bell when you do to make sure you're notified every time I post new content. And until then, keep paving your path to perfection.